All right, we're back, Fight Fans. This is the 2020 Ock and Barack Award Show. We got through all of the categories but one, which is the most prestigious category, in my opinion, and it was very difficult to pick a winner on this one, Barack. I mean, everybody deserves to be nominated when you talk about uh, going through a pandemic. And just without the pandemic, getting inside that ring, you guys are all champions. But we had to go through a bunch of names and we had to pick those who we feel should be honored. So here are the nominees for Fighter of the Year. Fighter of the Year. Here are the nominees. First one, he just fought last Saturday. He's none other than the pound for pound king. And we didn't know if he was going to fight in 2020. We had to actually nominate him because his performance against Callum Smith was superb. It showed that he is at his peak. He is ripe. This guy is going to be tough to beat. He's earned the top pound for pound spot. Beautiful performance by Canelo Alvarez against Callum Smith to capture three more world titles in the 168-pound division, WBC, the WBA, and the Ring Magazine belt. Hell of a performance. Defense, offense, ring generalship. He did it all. So he is one of our nominees for Fighter of the Year, Canelo Alvarez. Our second nominee is somebody who... Now listen, every fighter here had to go through adversity, and the adversity was the pandemic. Um, we all have different levels of anxiousness or, or fear towards this disease. Some of us have none. Uh, some of us are at a high alert because this disease is scary and took out maybe our loved ones or people that we know. And so we all had to come through that. We, so all of these fighters had to deal with that, staying safe, going in a bubble, being quarantined. But this particular fighter also had to come back from a horrific car accident that happened in 2019, October. And he did just that. And he, when he did that, he also came back and didn't fight a tune-up fight but he fought one of the best in his division and this fighter is Errol Spence he fought Danny Garcia after that car accident during a pandemic and this is why he's one of our nominees for fighter of the year this other nominee is a friend to the room he is a um, very young man at 23 years old uh, not too many fights maybe 15 professional fights when he uh, got to this point He's uh, He's been very braggadocious, but in a respectful way, very confident. And going into the fight against Vasily Lomachenko, a lot of people picked him to lose that fight. They said he was young, he wasn't ready, but boy, did he perform against Vasily Lomachenko to capture all of the titles in the lightweight division. Tiafimo Lopez Jr. is our next nominee. Beautiful, beautiful. Of course, the guy... You know, got a three, four year career and he's on a pound for pound list. <laughs> Everything his father said has come to pass. OK, our next nominee is none other than Javante Davis. He had knockout of the year. Um, we can only judge these guys by one fight for the most part because of the pandemic. You know, we all had to take a break from boxing. We all lost a little bit of money. Well, maybe not us, but we all lost a little bit of money. And mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and, and just you're talking about somebody who was criticized for for not making weight in the past. And he buckled down during the hardest time to possibly make weight where you don't have the sparring partners. You don't have the gym availability. And he did so. And he did so. And he performed uh, better than expected. Or maybe we expected a knockout, but maybe not that vicious. And that's Javante Davis. All right. The next nominee is none other than the 6'9 heavyweight, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Now, that rematch was highly anticipated. Barack and I, we were in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand to witness this battle. It was very, I mean, it was the last fight we've been at with a full arena, sold out arena. The Gypsy King came being carried like a king with his crown. Uh, Deontay Wilder had his uh, Wakanda uh, Black Panther type of suit on, 40 pounds might I add. It was a very, very entertaining night of boxing. And uh, we saw Tyson Fury actually execute what he said he was going to do, which was come at Deontay Wilder right away. He wanted to stop him immediately. He did not box. He was aggressive. He came forward and he was able to stop Deontay Wilder 
in a very impressive performance, so we have to nominate him as one of the fighters of the year. Our last one, last but not least, is another pound for pound great. Uh, he was on the top of that list, but Canelo just keeps getting better and better, fighting incredible opposition. And that's Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, he fought uh, who you, one of the guys who used to be at the top of the welterweight division. And this particular guy, uh, Kel Brook from the UK, he says that this has been his best camp. He's never been in this good of shape. Uh, he had t he's coming off of a, a win over DeLuca and he was very much prepared for this fight but Terrence Bud Crawford showed once again that he is levels above even the top guys in this sport and he finished Brooke better than Triple G did better than Errol Spence did this is why Terrence Bud Crawford is a nominee for fighter of the year no doubt about that. I mean, nobody's been able to beat Kell Brook um, the way he did. And not only that, he beat other guys like nobody's been able to beat. He did it to Amir Khan. <laughs> Amir Khan, um, he, pr right. he proved that he Horn. is one of uh, – Yeah, Jeff Horn as well. Like, look, the guy's a phenomenal fighter. No doubt about mm -hmm. that. Um, but we can only uh, pick one winner. So here it is. And the winner is – Teofimo Lopez. The winner by unanimous decision. And now, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, the takeover, Teofimo Lopez. A star is born tonight. Teofimo Lopez just beat Vasily Lomachenko. It's just so satisfying when... You know a young fighter, you know, uh, early in his career, and you have conversations with him, and the confidence in his voice and in his aura is real. And when he goes out to execute what he told everybody he was going to do, when most people did not believe it, uh, we, he was in studio with us months before that fight, and he, he was in the... Uh, in the cafeteria with myself, Barack, Josh, and he said, listen, I'm going to beat this guy. I know a lot of people don't believe me, but I'm going to execute it. I am going to show the world that I'm a better fighter and that Lomachenko is not invincible because that's what a lot of people um, were assuming. And going into the fight, listen, I had a lot of, I got a lot of text messages from fight fans, from friends, DM saying, because um, I was on record saying that Tiafimo will beat Lomachenko. People were telling me I was crazy, but there was some special about this kid. And yes, it might seem it might it, it, it might seem as sometimes as he's he brags or he's uh, very confident. But don't mistake it; it's not arrogance. He believes in himself. His father believes in his ability. So his performance that night, fighting the top guy on a lot of people's lists and pound for pound, was stupendous and what impressed me the most most and what actually also had me voting for him to be the fighter year was that 12th round the way he dug deep in that 12th round when Lomachenko had won some rounds leading up to that last round and he did not want to give that fight away he wanted to make a statement even when his father told him you have to fight one go out there and box for three minutes he ignored him he said no I have to close the show and he closed the show like the champion he is, and he deserves to be the fighter of the year. I think he broke a couple of records. I think um, we're going to have to either go to Google or somebody that's smarter than Google, and that's, Google, and that's Steve Farhood, and find out if he's the first one to be so young and be at, on a pound-for-pound -pound list, 23 years old, and to have a four-year career and be undisputed. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know. We have to figure that out. So... Let's let the man accept his award, Teofimo Lopez. What's up? This is Teofimo Lopez, The Takeover. And I just want to thank my guys um, from the Ock and Barack show. My guys, man, those are my dudes from, from day one. And I just want to thank you guys for this award. Uh, Fighter of the Year, man, it means a lot to me. And just from you guys, man, Brooklyn, everything, New York. And I'm just very thankful for all you guys, man. Um, and every time we we on the show, man, we crack it up and we enjoy it. So I thank you guys for everything, man. You guys are uh, uh, a true inspiration for everyone out there, man, because y'all die-hearted boxing fans, man. So thank you guys for everything. We appreciate you, man. And uh, 2021, we're looking on to bigger and better things. But thank you for, um, for this award, and I appreciate y'all. 